There is great power in the word yes. It means we agree, we commit, we accept, we will, we can. Of course, yes we can is a statement made famous by both Bob the Builder and Barack Obama when they both wanted to fix something. Yet many people fail to try to take the action necessary to produce a positive and beneficial result because they believe that they cannot do it. When we convince ourselves that we cannot take such action, we are creating three key obstacles to our progress. First, we expend resources to defend our position. Because we are societally conditioned to value certainty, stability and consistency of statement and action as desired character traits in a person, in order to be consistent with the declaration that we cannot do something, we tend to seek only evidence of why we are correct in such a claim. We may use our resources only to gather such evidence and defend our belief rather than investing them in seeking options to move forward. The solution? Don't defend. Defending creates excuses, blaming and powerlessness and leaves us stuck where we are. If that isn't where we want to be, then defending is senseless. Instead, seek. The second obstacle, we demotivate others. When people propose ideas and solutions and we say no because we have no evidence of having done it before or proof that the return will be beneficial even if the idea seemed sound, then we are destroying the sails of innovation that catch the winds of change and drive us forward. These people will then either not bother anymore or they will leave to seek a leader more likely to invest in their value and their contribution. The solution? Don't demotivate. Demotivating others closes doors. It reduces growth, minimizes contribution, reduces effort, and turns away assistance. People feel less rather than more. Instead, develop. The third obstacle. We destroy our self-esteem. When we reject that which may make us stronger, turning down the opportunity to grow through the challenge of application, we know that we have shut the door on another opportunity because of our fear, uncertainty, ill-discipline, or lack of courage. These things shrink our spirit and increase our self-doubt. This decreases our belief in and our esteem for ourselves. It then begins a vicious cycle of trying to restore that sense of self-worth through ego defenses and artificial growth activities that often ultimately prove destructive. The solution? Don't destroy. In particular, don't destroy your own self-esteem by not taking action. The ramifications of these three obstacles are that we end up cultivating and reinforcing a negative mindset. This obscures the innovation, creativity and risk associated with and required for accelerating positive growth. The result of this in business? Organizations that are preoccupied with staying where they are eventually see others overtake them and their market value deteriorates or even vanishes. Cases in point, Kodak, Nokia, Yellow Pages. So is saying no all bad? Well, no. It's important to note the power of a positive no, where it's used as a worthy defense against distraction, demotivation, or destruction. What's important here is the skill of discernment, good judgment. This requires a sense of awareness of personal biases and an emotional maturity to take accountability to positive change. In such cases, we're not defending for self, we are defending in service. So how do we empower ourselves moving forward? Seek ways to say yes to positive change and motivation. Positive change is positively linked to positive motivation. Change is simply moving from a current reality to a future result. Positive change defines the future result, or even just the process of change, as being positive. Change requires action. Action is a force, and in this case, it's a force applied by a human being. However, adults have an extra inertia that can sometimes require additional external force to overcome, to get them started and to keep them going. Usually, leaders use fear or motivation. Fear can sometimes get more immediate results, but tends to breed longer-term resentment and problems. Motivation has more positive consequences. Once there is momentum, less external force is required, but a regular dose of motivation maintains velocity and can even increase acceleration. However, the positive force of a human being comes from six other yes factors that also incorporate aspects of motivation. And we'll take a look at these in the next episode.